So Raphael also has the innate ability to resist status ailments that affect the attack, which honestly, nobody really cared about your attack. You're about as threatening as a toddler with a toy about to throw it at you. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. I'm going to dive into today's Hero Breakdown. First, I got to talk about this. The elephant in the room. Because Anchor finally got his merch. He's finally got merch. Remember all those people that complained? Oh, Anchor's got merch. Guys, Anchor's got merch. Now's your chance to buy some merch. Because I'll be honest with you. I probably spent three times the amount of money on my own merch that I've made from selling my own merch. So I think now's about the time that you buy some merch. You can take a look at it right here. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try the game out, all you have to do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You will receive 50 gems, one energy refill, 100,000 silver, and one free champion, Adjudicator. All your treasure is waiting for you right over here. We're talking about the current hero of the month, which is Raphael. Which I should say current because that's only going to last for like another day because I've been lazy and have been making other videos and haven't been able to grade this guy. But now you finally got a grade and you got a video, so stop complaining. So you got 650 attack, honestly super duper low. Leave it alone, it's pretty bad. We got 803 on his defense, 1402 on his health. Defensively, pretty stout. Offensively, crying baby, no good. So Raphael also has the innate ability to resist status ailments that affect the attack, which honestly, nobody really cared about your attack. You're about as threatening as a toddler with a toy about to throw it at you. So he heals all allies who have less than 50% health to 50% health. All allies regenerate 812 HP over four turns. Dispels status ailments from all allies. Elemental Link gives all allies 30% defense against special skills for four turns. This effect cannot be dispelled. He's part of the monk class, which currently, as far as emblems go, you've got heroes like White Rabbit, or you also have heroes like Drake Fong that are taking those up. I know a lot of yellow heroes are kind of important using those monk emblems there. So overall, against a Titan, I'm not really seeing any of these skills being mega useful on especially like 14 star Titans. You might get a lot more use out of him on the lower end Titans to where your whole team isn't getting one shot every single time. So you might have some time to go ahead and heal, have the heal over time, and it be really relevant on the lower level Titans. But in terms of high level Titans, I'm not really using them, especially with that attack power being so awful. Uh, I do like that it does dispel the status ailments from all allies. The elemental link is kind of cool as far as giving defense against special skills. But ultimately, I'm not throwing this guy on a Titan. He's going to get a C level because his skill set doesn't really help out. On offense, though, I really, really, really do like Raphael, especially considering he is a pretty solid healer. You've got a hero like Ariel, who's definitely better in terms of what she does. But if you don't have Ariel, he does fit in nicely. Myself, personally, I'm going to throw some scopes on him, and I'm going to level him up all the way to 80. So when you figure all allies are going to get healed, they're going to regenerate it. Plus, not to mention, it also dispels all the ailments, too. I really love this hero on offense. Really, really great hero. He's going to get an A grade there. When we look at him as a tank, I debated this one back and forth, especially when I was talking to all the hero graders, because everybody thought that there was definitely some potential to have him on defense. The only issue that I have with him is the fact that he's not really going to do too much besides heal your guys. When you had heroes like Ares or you had heroes like Guinevere that are just very defensive heroes that worked really, really well, they also went ahead and helped out the heroes around them and they were also running at average speed. So it doesn't really give that much. It just makes it so he can take a lot of hits. So I would actually find heroes like Richard a lot more threatening. Even heroes like Thorn fitting in at the tank position be a lot more threatening uh, as a tank. So I'm not really going to go ahead and bring him in as a tank hero. 
Yes, he does have some really good defensive stats, but I'm still too much worried about him being a liability being at slow speed. When we look at him as a flank, there might be a little bit of a position there. So again, not really too, too much that I'm gonna go ahead and wait in that area because especially he's just gonna be healing your heroes. He doesn't really do anything else. He does keep them alive, but I'm just not too sold. And you definitely don't wanna put him in in a wing. So for a tank raid, he's gonna get a B. As a flank raid, he's gonna get a B. And in the wing itself, he's gonna get a C grade there. So an overall grade on defense, he's gonna get a B grade. That could potentially go up with the tank raid to a B plus, possibly in the flank. We'll wait and see what goes on. But honestly, there's a lot better blue heroes that you can go ahead and select and choose from. So I would go ahead and leave him out of defense. When we go ahead and we take a look at him on the weekly raid, he does get an A plus grade on the rush attack, mostly because he's just gonna keep all of your team alive no matter what, pretty much running at fast speed. If anybody's taking health, they're gonna go back up to 50% and then they're gonna regenerate it over, over time. I love this hero on rush attack. Really, really, really great hero on rush attack. On the buff, it does get currently a B grade there. It could possibly, should maybe go up to a B plus, mostly because it goes ahead and dispels all status ailments. But as far as the buff and everything like that, it's not gonna be too, too weighted there. It does get a B grade there. On Bloody Battle, you should bloody just uninstall the game if you're throwing him in in Bloody Battle because it's just awful. He's not gonna do anything for your team or for you because literally the only thing he does is heal. So don't do that. So overall, he's gonna get a B plus grade as his overall grade. I really love him as a, an offensive hero. There is some potential on defense, but honestly, you've got a whole lot better selection to choose from on defense. So overall, B plus grade. I appreciate you checking out this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, buy that merch because I need to buy a new house or something. And I'll see you on the next breakdown.